So the Indie House sits across the street from Annie Laurie's, which we've had Annie Laurie's since 2006. And the building sat empty for, I think, about four years. And I would look at it and it would make me so sad because there were holes in the roof and squirrels living in there. And it's such a beautiful property. And I just saw it as an amazing opportunity to give back to the community and really revitalize that property. So I've been involved with Old Town Cape since 2006. And that was also the year that we moved downtown and bought the business and the property. So for a long time now, I've also served on the board at Old Town Cape. It's very important to take care of these historic properties. If they're not cared for, they can deteriorate very quickly. And downtown is our history. It's the biggest piece of our town where we come from. And it's important to make sure that we take care of these properties and revitalize them. Downtown is my place. Not only do we live here, we own properties here, our businesses are here. My son has only ever lived in downtown, so it's really important for me to make sure that that is a place that's very well taken care of. And we love downtown. I'm from Cape Girardeau. It's always been the place that I wanted to be, and it's so wonderful to see the changes from 2006 when we first moved down here to where it's at today. Um, it wasn't like this when we first moved down here, but I definitely could see how um, revitalizing these properties would really add to our city. Everything that we do and the decisions that we've made, we've tried to fit within the downtown strategic plan. And with that downtown strategic plan, that's downtown living, new businesses, revitalization, beautification, is it safe, is it clean? So every time we have purchased a property, we have tried to fit within that mold. And the Indie House for us was an opportunity to fit within a lot of those dynamics. So it created downtown living, it brought new business to downtown, it revitalized a historic property, and it also included overnight stay with the guest house. And also adding art was another piece that is dear to my heart. So for us, the Indie House fit within all of those things and it was an opportunity to really check some things off the box that I wanted to see in downtown and just grow in a way that's gonna help the community. Well, I think Terry Davis should get a lot of credit because he's an incredible artist at 24 years of age. It's just, he blows me away with his talent and he really just knocked it out of the park. So I think a lot of credit needs to go to Terry.